Welcome to episode 28. Questions and answers are based on chapter 11, Canning from the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Choose the best answer. What type of closure is used for hermetically sealing glass containers in canning? A. Screw on metal cap. B. Plastic sealant. C. Metal closure with plastisol lining. D. Heat sealed foil laminate. What type of closure is used for hermetically sealing glass containers in canning? C. Metal closure with plastisol lining. Glass containers are sealed using a metal closure with a plastisol lining compound that acts as a sealant. What is the primary difference between the cold or raw pack method and the hot pack method in canning fish products? A. The type of containers used. B. The temperature at which the fish is packed. C. The addition of liquid or ingredients. D. The type of pre-cooking method employed. What is the primary difference between the cold or raw pack method and the hot pack method in canning fish products? B. The temperature at which the, at which the fish is packed. In the cold or raw pack method, the fish is packed cold or raw, whereas in the hot pack method, the fish is pre-cooked and packed while still hot. Which benefit is not associated with the pre-cooking of fish in the hot pack method? A. Improved flavor. B. Reduced bacterial load. C. Retained moisture. D. Removal of gases affecting vacuum. Which benefit is not associated with the pre-cooking of fish in the hot pack method? C. Retained moisture. Pre-cooking in the hot pack method involves removing moisture from the fish, which can contribute to improved flavor and removal of gases affecting vacuum. Which pre-cooking method is typically used as a substitute for drying in the hot pack method? A. Baking. B. Frying. C. Smoking. D. Blanching. Which pre-cooking method is typically used as a substitute for drying in the hot pack method? A. Baking. Baking is used as a substitute for drying in the hot pack method, usually at temperatures of 110 to 130 degrees Celsius or 90 to 100 degrees Celsius for fatty fish. Which medium is commonly used for achieving commercial sterility in heat processing? A. Cold water. B. Saturated steam under pressure. C. Hot air. D. Liquid nitrogen. Which medium is commonly used for achieving commercial sterility in heat processing? B. Saturated steam under pressure. Saturated steam under pressure is a common medium used for achieving commercial sterility in heat processing, and the temperature of the steam condenses on the outer walls of the can. What advantage does a static vertical retort have over a horizontal retort in terms of steam distribution? A. Higher pressure inside the retort. B. More uniform internal steam distribution. C. Faster processing time. D. Larger loading capacity. What advantage does a static vertical retort have over a horizontal retort in terms of steam distribution. B. More uniform internal steam distribution. A static vertical retort offers more uniform internal steam distribution compared to a horizontal retort. What is a potential hygienic concern associated with some vertical retorts? A. An even pressure distribution. B. Lack of temperature control. C. Block and tackle loading. D. Mounting in wells. What is a potential hygienic concern associated with some vertical retorts? D. Mounting in wells. Some vertical retorts are mounted in wells which can pose hygienic hazards. Which type of continuous retort operates by rotating cans actually on their passage through the retort? 
A. Continuous rotary cooker. B. Continuous agitating retort. C. Hydrostatic retort. D. Statistic, stati, static vertical retort. Which type of continuous retort operates by rotating cans actually on their passage through the retort? The answers are A and B. Continuous rotary cooker or continuous agitating retort. Continuous rotary cookers and continuous agitating retorts operate on the principle in which the cans are rotated actually on their passage through the main retort. The main difference between the two is that a back and forth conveyor system is used inside the retort in the continuous rotating retort instead of a spiral scroll around the inside retort perimeter. What is a distinctive feature of the French Tariflam continuous cooker or a cooler? A. Use of saturated steam. B. Naked glass flames. Naked gas flames. C. Horizontal retort design. D. Spiral scroll operation. What is a distinctive feature of the French Tariflam continuous cooker or a cooler? B. Naked gas flames. The French Terriflom continuous cooker or cooler uses naked gas flames over which cans roll actually along tracks. Which heat processing method is suitable for all plastic rigid or pouch containers? A. Hydrostatic retort. B. Microwave canning. C. Continuous rotary cooker. D. Cold water immersion. Which heat processing method is suitable for all plastic rigid or pouch containers? B. Microwave canning. Microwave canning is feasible for all plastic rigid or pouch containers as it provides heat sterilization without overcooking. What is the main challenge associated with using the French Terriflom system for larger cans? A. Uneven pressure distribution. B. High production speeds. C. Lack of temperature control. D. Picking of larger cans. What is the main challenge associated with the, using the French Terriflom system for larger cans? D. Picking of larger cans. Larger cans may pick due to the internal pressures exceeding the constant atmospheric pressure in the open-sided cooker of the Terriflom system. Which factor significantly affects the quality and flavor of canned products? A. Brand reputation. B. Packaging material. C. Raw material selection and handling. D. Advertising campaigns. Which factor significantly affects the quality and flavor of canned products? C. Raw material selection and handling. The quality and flavor of canned products depend largely on the selection of good quality raw material and proper handling before packing. 